Uh, I think they were thinking core, Radiant looking team. at their lineup right now, but um, they're flexible with their picks. Yeah, because uh, it will be a support. support. Wow. So Suddenly, you're going to have a great possibility to find kills when Ana goes back to mid lane and then the raise comes out. But for now, at least, just going to soak up experience. Looks like LPC is going to come over to contest a little bit as well. They need to do something because they can't just let the Salk farm like this. <laughs> the, uh, White is going to jump down and start getting some damage onto Anna. Maybe they can actually kill him. There's the magic missile that comes out. Super there as well. Right click and the raise. They take him down. Jerax is just going to back out and away. White in the meantime trying to run away. They've brought in flies. Well, a very tenuous situation. The neutral ends up denying the Monkey King. S4 is chasing Super, who is behind and in between the Tier 1 and Tier 2 towers. And, well, they lose another as well. Three die, one of them to neutral. Up working to the favor. Like, yeah, they took the stack, but it doesn't matter. Like, Anna came back. He got a little bit of CS in mid. The supports really benefited off of that. But they're going to kill him again. Nicely done. This rotation game from LFY constantly putting them in these positions to find these kills. It's working out fabulously. And I'm looking around at some of the other lanes, and it's going pretty well there. Um, no Tail is... Oh, they got another kill here. Jerex is going to drop. Wow. And Super keeps the Slardar duo. This this should be, in theory, a, a very powerful duo. A lot of physical damage, some minus armor, now that Slardar's level 6. But uh, they're not leaving any important heroes in top. In fact, it's going to be maybe LPC dies. Oh, well, trying to turn. S4 actually is going to end up... OG's playing pretty safe, right? They're oftentimes grouped around the mid area. Um, if they're top, most of the time it was Winter Wyvern. This is going to potentially be the kill that he needs to get back into this game. They don't quite connect onto the chains, but they do still have remnants if they want to use it. Oh, the cold embrace. That was as the CMP came out, it looked like. And, well, he is going to end up paying for it. No Tail jumps forward. Monet going to find him. Levels, and Wyvern isn't really making that much happen at this early stage. Yeah, they've got Metamorphosis up. I think he's literally just waiting for Blink Dagger on level 6 on Lina. Um, he's just going to take a pause for a minute, though. The fight may still happen at bottom first. They're on top of him, looking for the jump. They're able to catch. There's the clutch as well. And so... It's like OG now that wants to be aggressive. Very back and forth cat-mouse games going on here. Yeah, this uh, aggressive poke out from OG with the smoke. But again, it does seem like LFY have pretty good read. They're going to let LPC drop here. Not a bit playing. It's pretty smart, pretty farm efficient. They do know their Alchemist game. It's been run a lot in the Chinese meta leading into this tournament. May ready to get very aggressive here. They're going to jump forward, hook stop onto both of the cores. They do still have the Winter's Curse if they want to use it. Monet in some trouble. They turn it now onto the Shadow Fiend, but he gets swapped out. Great play there by the Ventral Spirit. Monet still going to be controlled and brought down. That's only the Aegis for now, though. Looks like OG to be at least a little bit careful. There's a gross of haze on a lot of these heroes. They get a crush onto two. S4, he's going to end up not going down. Actually, they do find that kill with the Rays. BKB pop game. Uh, if they hold more map control than OG. So they want to keep this map control intact as long as possible. Well, taking down Fly right here and then following it up with uh, soon to be a tier one tower is certainly what they need to do. The four staff, rather, Hurricane Pike from Terrorblade, not able to save Lena there. No Tail does have a DB rune, but the Crush, this is a good one if they can take it. Fly still there, he's back in an instant because of that minus respawn. Sunder comes off, which is going to control Super for a moment, but uh, Pump takes the Requiem of Souls, hasn't used it as of yet. They still do have Swap from LPC, but don't really want to swap in one of your teammates Aww. to die to their... I thought he was going to... ...getting gone on. Good decision from LFY there, not to overcommit or anything. And the Stampede, they're looking, they're trying to find it. LPC, he is going to get caught, but it is only a Vengeful Spirit. I guess it Definitely. And, you know, the other thing there to keep in mind, um, as we do get this Winter's Curse off, thinking about going for more, there's the swap away. LPC, again, going to give his life for the cause. But it's sort of too much of a good thing, you know? It's overwhelmingly strong that no one can really deal with him, so he's going to probably chip down a tier three pretty quickly. All right, Super, do it one time. Requiem of Souls, we're waiting. He decides to one go time for the it. There's a the BKB pop. Not really a ton of damage. Sunder as well to turn it. Oh, oh, that's a pretty good combo. No Teal is not going to fall, though. A magic missile onto the Alk, only to hold back the tide of what could be all that LFY can really do is aggressively push out with Monet um, and, and split push with him, but that's pretty much it. Well, here it comes. Metamorphosis pop. Still got the Alk on the low ground. Going to throw out one of these stuns. Hits still onto the Shadow Beam. Shrine has already been popped now, and they do also use the Glyph. So, on a step forward, they still feel like they can do anything to him. 
It is too hard to stop this pressure coming in from the damage dealer and the hero that's never going to die in Ana. Now Monet taking a couple hits. This is going to be a barracks down. And I, I, I don't see what the answer is in the least bit. And they try and get some damage on No-Tail. Like, they need to jump No-Tail, but at the same time, he's the one with the Aegis. They just can't target Ana at all because he's so big now. Yeah, turns back around again for the stun. Throws it out onto the Slardar. No respect at all for any type of high ground defense because it's not there for LFY. They don't have any way to deal with it. Range Barracks is going to drop as well. They are going to go for a little bit of a swappage type of play, but Ana is going to be back. I think uh, ended up getting passed out. I'm not sure if it did or not. But it, it, regardless, he's going to be able to have it soon. Yeah, Lina does have that Aghanim Scepter uh, given over to her by the Alk now. All right, here's the play, Lyrical. You've got the Basher now on Monkey King, so just get super lucky with all right. your Wukong's command. Get, like, a batches on all five heroes over and over again. Hit the lucky button, guys. Yeah. That's, the, that's the play. <laughs> right. Believe in yourself. That's what he needs, Gabe. <laughs> just have faith. Yeah, I, I, I think you got to have faith. got to have faith, faith, faith. As OG is going to hit it down. Monet taking a lot of damage. Cap, it is looking grim and Take a half. Take a fight. Take a fight. Come on, LFY. You can't just go down like this. You, you can't just be slowly attrition to death the whole entire game. Oh, there it is. Alchemist stunned himself. This is what they've been waiting for. Get Your time up. is now. Go after him. Alchemist oh, no. is going to be healed back up. They can't break through it in the least, but it's still going to be stunned. He's getting bashed by Monkey King. But it's not nearly enough. And now you're not going to have ultis for the second round. Ana getting a little bit big there in the back line. They've got Slardar caught out. He doesn't to try and secure their second lane of barracks if they want. Or possibly just take down some wards and put the fear of God in LFY. Metamorphosis is back up. Time to go. Hey, taking the damage. Pops the blade mill again. He can't blade mill the buildings, unfortunately. And that's going to be a melee barracks down. Super jumps forward. It was another stun that went down onto Ana, and now they're starting to bring down that Ember Spirit. Another stun throws out onto him. Requiem of Souls doing absolutely nothing. The MK ulti is not really able to disrupt this team fight all that much. White is going to drop. They lose two, <laughs> and they lose the game. Did you see White? He was, in the, he was uh, next to that little, one little tree. He threw down the Wukong's command and then turned himself into a tree to stand next to it. He was like, maybe I could just sit here with the Wukong's command, and they won't notice me.